Well, it was a big night of super sectionals in high school boys basketball with three teams from around our area looking to punch a ticket to state. We'll start with Auburn facing Bennett Academy from Lyle, where Kim Chaney was on fire in the sectional championship, and he was picking up right where he left off, hitting that early three. Still in the first now, and sticking with Chaney, the junior, driving up, gets the jumper to go. And that makes it a one-point game for the Knights. Now to one of the Auburn senior leaders, Adrian Agee, off the rebound, drives up the court, hits his jumper as well. That puts Auburn up by one in the first. Knights would start to lose control in the second. Bennett going on a big second quarter run. The Knights just trying to keep up in this one. Chaney again, this time going for three, gets that to go. The Knights not able to keep up with the one side, one seeded Bennett. They fall to the Red Wings 67 to 33, the final. And in 1A with Scales Mound facing Chicago Marshall at NIU, start with the junior. Evan Kogan, a little spin move, goes off the glass to extend the Hornets' second quarter lead. Then a nice play from Thomas Harrow off the rebound here. Grabs it and goes off the glass. He gets that one to go. That puts the Hornets up seven with two minutes left in the second. Heading to the second half now. Scales Mountain fans traveling well to NIU. And the third, the senior Jacob Dewar continue, continuing his great postseason play, driving to the basket to extend their lead to four. On the next possession, Harrow again getting that pull-up jumper to go. Scales Mound just not letting Marshall back into it, but in the fourth, game's getting a little tighter. Dewar driving to the basket, getting the and one. That puts Scales Mound up by three. And Harrow liked that, so he's going to do the same. Drives up. What an effort from the junior for the and one, and the Hornets are heading back to state for the second consecutive year, winning it 60-56. to you're heading to state. <laughs> it's awesome. We were there last year, and I didn't get, I didn't get in at all. But this year, it's my turn. It's our turn. We're gonna. It's awesome to be back. Well, the key was just to stop them two big guys. And once we did that, we could get down to our offense, and that's where, that's where we strive with our offense. And their state semifinal game is at U of I this Thursday at 11:45 a.m. Now to the 2A Super Sectionals in Sterling with Rockridge and Rockford Lutheran facing off. Rockets with the ball in the third, passing it around. Honcho, Landon Bull, he'll drain the three in the corner. Crusader is going to do the same now. Blake Brogy is going to drive up. He drains a three of his own. He's had a great senior season. The Rockets looking to pass it around. Landon Bull draining another three ball in the corner. Crusaders calling a timeout, going to talk things over. Super sectional on the line. Rockford Lutheran's Walt Hill now taking the rock. He'll go in the corner and he'll get his corner three. You know Walt is going to show up for this one. A little back and forth here with Landy Wheatley getting the ball and making a move for the layup. Crusaders, Walt Hill though. Going to be making some plays on his own. Another three ball here. That puts him down 60 to 59. Last chance effort here for the Crusaders. Walt Hill with it. Shoots it, trying to get it to go at the buzzer, but it's off the rim. Doesn't go in, and the season is over for the Crusaders. The Rockridge Rockets are headed to state, winning it 60 to 59.